What's going on, y'all? Joe Johnston here. Hope everything's well with, with you all. You're having a fantastic day. And again, dude, just hopping on here to um, do one of these longer form trainings. Just want to make sure, all right, everything's cool. Cool, man. Um, so listen, you know, we've done a couple of trainings on this. You can go check them on the page. Um, re referring back to the worthiness, worthiness one, because that is super relevant um, to the training we're going to talk about today, which is the art of fulfillment, right? And so this is a concept that Tony Robbins talks about a lot is that, dude, it's better to be fulfilled and it's more prosperous. We want to be seeking fulfillment more than we want to be seeking success. And one of the things, one of the core issues, the core kind of um, core competencies, that core struggles that my clients rather come to me with is feeling unfulfilled, right? And feeling like, dude, they're, they're just simply not fulfilled in their lives in what they're doing. Um, and it's super interesting, right? And we're going to relate it, how it kind of relates to worthiness. But dude, it's so important that we seek fulfillment. And here's the thing, dude, fulfillment and money are not mutually exclusive. You can have a shit ton of money and you can do something that you love and be deeply, deeply fulfilled, right? Like I've met plenty of people who are super, super successful and have this zest and this passion and this energy for life. Um, so they are by no means mutually exclusive. And having said that, dude, on the same level, right? I've met people who are not making that much money, but are super fulfilled, right? They, you know, might have struggles and anxieties around money and, and paying the bills and all that stuff. But like, dude, they're super fulfilled and they're not making that much money. And then on the other side of that, I'm sure we all know the individuals who are super successful, have all the money in the world, but they're not fulfilled at all, or they're a mess, you know? So the, these things are by no means mutually exclusive. But I think personally that it's so important that we seek fulfillment more than we seek success and monetary success or kind of monetary um, items. Seek fulfillment first before looking for those things, right? So again, this is a massive struggle that my clients have is that they're not fulfilled in their daily lives. And again, I want to talk a little bit about where this comes from and, and then how to like start actually living a fulfilling life. And so first of all, again, dude, if you have not seen the training on self-worth and the self-worth epidemic that we, I believe we are facing um, in our world today, when it comes to young men and young adults, go check that training out now. It's on this page. It's, it's the first training on this page, dude, super important because here's the thing, dude, again, just like with our passion and our dreams and like so many other aspects of our lives, if we do not believe that we are worthy as individuals, like truly fucking worthy of the life that we want, the life that we deserve, the life that we desire. If we do not believe that we are truly worthy of those things, then we're not going to take care of ourselves as individuals and treat ourselves in a loving manner in order to then be fulfilled, right? So it's again, dude, like I could be doing fulfilling shit, but if I don't believe that I'm worthy, one, I'm probably going to be less likely to do fulfilling stuff. And two, I might not be able to fully feel that and the zest and the energy and the joy that comes with life. So go watch that training. And, and, and the analogy I'll use is like the piece of garbage analogy, right? And so this is what I mean by this is like, dude, if you're out and you see a piece of garbage on the ground or you see something that you believe to be worthless, you're not going to take good care of it, right? Like, dude, what do we do when we see a piece of garbage? We either ignore it um, or we like kick it out of the way, or we pick it up and throw it in the trash because we see it as, as worthless. We see it as garbage. And so the same thing goes for us as individuals. If you see yourself as worthless, which is total bullshit, as we know, as you'll see in that training, but if you see and truly believe that you are a worthless individual that is not deserving of being fulfilled, that is not deserving of love, of success, of happiness, you're going to treat yourself like shit. So again, this all starts with the self-worth epidemic, dude. So go back and check that chain, that training out is we have to start rewiring, actually believing that we are worth, you know, fulfillment and feeling fulfilled or none of these steps and the things that we're going to talk about are going to matter. And so with that being said, a lot of my clients come to me and they're struggling with fulfillment, right? And they're struggling to feel fulfilled on a daily basis. And the first thing we're going to do, as I do with a lot of my clients, is like, dude, we're going to look at their habits. Like, dude, what, what are your day, what does your day-to-day -day look like? What are your day-to-day -day habits? What are you doing on a daily basis? 
And what I, I will find from a fulfillment standpoint is they'll come and, and they'll say, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling fulfilled. Things aren't great, all this stuff. And then we look at their habits or we look at their day to day and it's like, it's no wonder, you know, they're doing stuff that is deeply, deeply unfulfilling and deeply unsatisfying. Um, they're not eating healthy foods. They're not eating foods that serve them, that really, you know, nurture them and fulfill them as individuals, as human beings. They're hanging out with people who put them down and who treat they are, um, they have jobs that are deeply fulfilling and deeply unsatisfied and not aligned with their values and who they are. They're, they're, you know, not doing healthy things on the weekends. They're not doing healthy things with their free time and, and in the time that they have outside of work. Um, and so it's, it's no wonder that they're not fulfilled. But again, you know, if we see ourselves as worthy and pieces of garbage, then we're not going to take care of, of our mind, our body and our souls and our hearts and our emotions and all that stuff. So we're really setting ourselves up and destined for a life of non-fulfillment and of unfulfilling lives. Um, so with all that being said, First, rewiring the worthy, this thing, right? So I can't, ham I can't hammer that home enough. Is first, you have to believe that you're worthy in order to nurture yourself and become a fulfilling individual. Um, and when it comes to actually doing and, and, and starting to feel more fulfilled on a daily basis, a couple things to go off of. One is like, dude, go for shit that actually feeds you, that actually serves you as an individual. Like, dude, I tell my clients this all the time. Is you want to serve others at the highest level, you need to serve your fucking self at the highest level. So you need to do things and take actions and put things into your mind that feed you, that feed your soul, that feed your being, that feed your mind, that feed your heart. Um, so that is so critically important is that we have to actually be doing stuff that feeds us, that feeds the internal as opposed to stuff that feeds the external. Um, and so... That's one thing is, is focusing on stuff that's actually going to serve us and it's going to fill us. And dude, I'm looking at my notes here. You know what I'm feeling? It fills you up. I, I'm like, what, what the fuck is this? <laughs> so I'm looking at my notes here and I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to say here. Oh, dude. And, and another thing when it comes to fulfillment, right, is like we intuitively know what is fulfilling. Like we know you know, at this stage in our lives, young adults, young men, you're going to know the stuff that's like actually fulfilling. Like, you know, eating leafy greens, like food that actually comes from the ground and comes from like source and creation is going to be fulfilling is going to fill you up more so than like eating ice cream all day or eating cookies all day. The biggest trap is that we often just don't do it. We don't do the things that are fulfilling and, and whether that's because we're living in the external, we're trying to please others and we're trying to be there for others more than we are for ourselves. Or, you know, again, it comes back to the self-worth thing. We just don't believe that we're worthy or, or that we you know, deserve to um, get the things that we want and, and to fulfill ourselves and, and to nurture ourselves and our being. So with all that being said, dude, like let's talk about some actually fulfilling things, like some daily habits that you can do that are going to leave you feeling fulfilled, right? Like there's some macro things, dude, like a, a healthy relationship, um, you know, a healthy intimate relationship is probably number one. Um, number two, I would say is like a fulfilling career that really feeds your soul and all that stuff. Um, and you know, that feels your passion and something that you, you know, is aligned with your purpose and your values and all that stuff. Healthy relationships outside of your intimate relationship are totally huge and, um, you know, massive to overall fulfillment and life success and happiness. But like, let's talk about like some daily things and some daily habits and like tactical stuff that you can start implementing today that are going to be fulfilling. Um, and first, actually, let's talk about like some things to cut out, right? So like, dude, stuff, anything that is not healthy to your body is not going to be fulfilling. So anything physically that, that deteriorates your body, whether it's, you know, staying inside all day and not getting sunlight, whether it's eating like shit, whether it's, um, you know, ingesting drugs and alcohol into your system, um, whether it's, you know, just not working out, um, like that stuff is, is automatically going to be unfulfilling and like looking at those habits that are, that are simply not fulfilling you and not serving you. But when it comes to actual fulfilling habits, dude, like let's start with the morning, dude, waking up at a reasonable time, right? Our bodies are, are meant to go, you know, meant to fall asleep when the sun goes down and wake up when the sun comes up. So trying to align your, align your circadian rhythm as much as you possibly can. 
Um, secondly, dude, when you wake up having a morning routine, so doing things like meditating, maybe taking a cold shower, like doing stuff that's uncomfortable, that's healthily uncomfortable is going to fulfill you massively and leave you with a sense of fulfillment as opposed to just sitting in comfort all day. Um, getting out in nature, dude, exploring nature, getting vitamin D and seeing the sun and all that stuff, massively fulfilling. Like we talked about eating foods that are fulfilling foods that are, are natural greens, natural vegetables and all that stuff, massively fulfilling reading. Um, creativity, playing guitar, dude, you know, I played guitar last night just because I knew it's a fulfilling thing. I'm not that good at it, but just strumming the guitar, being out on my porch is super, super fulfilling at the end of a day. Exercise, getting out in nature and exercising, going to the gym, having a daily exercise routine and regimen. Self-care, man, like literally taking the time to just go and, and lay out or um, get a massage for yourself if you can afford that or invest in coaching or invest in something that's going to better you as an individual. Um, movement, movement's huge, right? We talked about that, getting out in nature, moving and do just doing stuff that is, is naturally fulfilling to you. So whatever that is, whatever your, you know, kind of thing is, I listed off some things that are obviously fulfilling to me, but do just finding things that actually on a daily basis, you know, are fulfilling, like, you know, are going to fulfill you more than some of the activities and more than the habits that you're, that you're engaging yourself in. And then just staying true and staying clear to those things and making them non-negotiables in, in your life. Take care of yourself, serve yourself at the highest level, and you will infinitely serve others at an infinitely higher level. So again, call comes back to the self-worth piece. So if you haven't seen that training, check that out. If you believe that you're a piece of garbage, you're going to treat yourself like a piece of garbage and you're not going to nurture yourself and you're naturally not going to believe that you're worthy of fulfillment. Um, but once you lock that down, dude, really start doing things that serve you and leave you feeling fulfilled on a daily basis. Much love y'all. Hope you're well. Um, if you want some more help on this, really locking in daily fulfillment um, and just enjoying your life and having a zest and energy for life on a daily basis, go check the link down below, schedule a call with me and my team. We've made some time available. We'd love to talk to you about our coaching programs and how we can help you out. Uh, but until then, my friends, much love.